Hi, welcome to Cooking with Brian. This is uh, Brian Hurlbert, Independent Manager at Watkins. And it's just a little something I started doing for fun for my friends, a little bit of entertainment. And before we really get started, let me say that uh, what you see and hear here are my comments, my comments alone. And not to be misconstrued, it's those of Watkins uh, Incorporated as a whole. It's really just to uh, have some fun and uh, maybe learn how to cook. And if you'd like to share your comments and feedback, you can do that on our blog uh, at justgonaturalblog.com or you can visit our website, our online Watkins store at justgonatural.com or feel free to give me a call. Uh, 877-822-8463 is our toll-free number. If you're looking for Watkins, Watkins products, or perhaps looking to earn an income with Watkins, um, I can certainly help answer your questions and uh, help you get set up. And for now, let's just have some fun. And uh, what we're doing today is cooking what I refer to as seasoned meatballs. So here we are now. We've mixed up our meatballs, um, added them into the pan, and if you can look in there closely, you'll see that in between the meatballs, there are little morsels of bacon. Uh, go get yourself some bacon ends, or pick up some great bacon at one of your local markets, and uh, just use that to help impart a little extra flavor. And when you're using uh, your herbs and spices, and again, um, I used the uh, Watkins Snack and Dip seasoning, uh, actually using the salsa and sour cream, but you go ahead and use whichever one your favorite is. Be brave. Use, uh, experiment with your herbs. We're, we're using basil, um, uh, thyme. I'll just take a little thyme for thyme. And I'll just take a little thyme for rosemary, too, or she might get jealous. And, uh, you just go ahead and Put those in, brown them up, and uh, just remember to have food with, have fun with, you know, have food with your fun, and have fun with your food. The uh, my mom, when I was growing up, taught me same as many of us, our mothers, uh, not to play with my food. And then I grew up, and you know what? I discovered how much fun you can have playing with your food. So I hope that helps. Okay, so the next step, and you can see these are starting to brown up now nicely. And the next step, this is absolutely one of my favorite Watkins products. Uh, a confession is I only started using it about, oh, say, the first of the summer. Actually, probably only about a month and a half ago. And uh, Watkins barbecue sauce. It has a wonderful light smoky taste and it has no MSG and I'm just going to pour a little directly into the pan so you can get an idea of what it kind of looks like. A little tricky here balancing both. I want to pour the iPad and, and hold the bottle. You know, if you know my backhand you know that over the years I've held my chair of bottles and get it always that up. So not quite as used to uh, holding them now as I used to be, and uh, thankfully for that. And uh, now it's more of a barbecue bottle. It keeps me out of trouble. The, uh, now you see how nice and thick that is. What I'm going to do though is I have another bottle over here that uh, is going to, that I've actually, sounds bad, but I've actually watered down. The reason being, is I wanted to rinse out the bottle, so I added some fresh stuff in with this, and I'm just going to pour this right in with the, the meat pulse there. And the reason being, I want to saute, now that those meatballs are getting brown, I want to saute them and just kind of flavor them up with some of that barbecue sauce with some adder, water, adder watered, yeah, some water added. You can tell that this is live video and I don't have the screening options that uh, TV channels have. And, and look at that now. 
Now what I'm going to do is just allow those meatballs to simmer in that mixture of the water and Watkins barbecue sauce. That's going to impart a nice smoky flavor along with those and that'll help us with our seasoned meatballs. Now one of the keys to this is once you get those meatballs browning up nice and simmering away there in that Watkins barbecue sauce, uh, again I've watered it down um, considerably because I wanted just to saute those. Now you can see they're starting to boil rather than simmer and so I'm just going to turn my heat down a little down to I would say low or just above low I've got it on number two and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a cover right over that I'm actually going to turn that down to just above uh, actually number one which is just above the low and I'm just going to allow that to simmer for well, five or ten minutes Okay, so that actually has been simmering now for a few minutes, but you can see that on the number one setting, it really isn't doing much. And so what I've done is I've increased my heat to medium, we'll say about four or five, so about, about halfway up. And you can see now that that's starting to bubble nicely. I don't want it to overcook or cook too quickly. Um, just to saute those. Make sure that they're done through. That's the big thing. And uh, I'll show you in a little bit how we can tell. But, uh, you know, as you go, as you advance in your cooking, and some people would say I'm not very advanced, <laughs> but as you advance in your cooking, you, uh, you learn to go by smell, by look, by touch, and, you know, make sure it's cooked, and then go by taste. And if it doesn't quite turn out the way you want it the first time, the next time you do it, you tweak it a little, add a few more spices or a few less, depending on your taste, and you'll get it. And, you you know, when you do, um, as you can tell, I, I, there's no recipe book in front of me. Most of it comes just from my mind. But it also comes after years of watching... Uh, my mom cook and other cooks that uh, have done a wonderful job over the year and watch watch your cooking shows uh, not just this one uh, and learn various techniques and pick up the recipes and then tweak them and make them your own and that's the best way we can do now I'm going to add my cover back on there again truth of the matter is, I have no idea what it's going to be like until I try it, and neither will you. Mm. But when you discover that it takes some raw meat, blend it in with some herbs and spices and egg and oatmeal, and a little Watkins snack and dip seasoning, and some barbecue sauce, and simmer it until that starts to cook down and the flavor imparts into those meatballs. You'll discover how good seasoned meatballs can really be. And I thank you for cooking with Brian. And remember, have fun with your food. And again, you've been cooking with Brian. I'm an independent manager with Watkins. And again, the things that you've heard here and seen here are my opinions and mine alone, not to be misconstrued as those of Watkins Incorporated as a whole. If you are looking for Watkins products or recipes, uh, visit our online store at justgonatural.com or see our other information at justgonaturalblog.com or give me a call direct and toll free at 877-822-8463. Thanks for cooking with Brian. Enjoy your cooking, and remember, have fun.